Our next prop is the scimitar, or the sword. Now these are performance swords. They're heavy, so you'll notice we wear a little headdress on so that we don't bend our heads in. And the headdress helps balance, and I think it also gives an extra dimension to our costuming. I like the, I like the dancer to be have stuff on her head, her middle of her body, her arms, her, her legs. Uh, so our sword dance is again choreographed very tightly, and you notice we balanced it in many different parts of our body, right? Is it right? <laughs> yes, we did. And uh, when you're using a performance sword, especially when it's on your head and you're moving around with it, you have to really control your breathing, you have to control your movements, and you have to make sure that everything is in balance, all the while looking relaxed and smiling. <laughs> right. Swords are harder than you think because dancing slower is harder than dancing fast, okay? New, new dancers find that they like to move fast better and work their hips hard and fast and do shimmies, but the best dancers and the ones who learn the dance the best are those who know how to control their bodies and do the deep, slow undulations and isolations that are so characteristic of this dance. Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy the video. <laughs> Sal's show is your show. If you want to be on Sal's show, as we have been, please contact these numbers right here. Come on, it's great fun. <laughs>